We're into day 10 of the Route de Rum destination Guadeloupe and the race for the ultime title is over, but will be remembered forever. Darmel Tripon and Alex Thompson have under 1,000 miles to go now, but even for them, as with the rest of the fleet, the fatigue of the relentless pressure and hard work is kicking in. The multi-50 leader would like it to be over sooner rather than later, and Thompson too is working hard and feeling the strain. Uh, I'd like to take it easy, there's no point in me pushing too hard and breaking something now. I may as well try and consolidate, not push too hard, try and get some rest and not make any mistakes if possible. As for sleep, it's a commodity in very short supply on board this boat. Thompson is now over 180 miles clear of second. The battle for the other steps on the podium gets closer every day. Paul Mea is under constant pressure from Vincent Ryu in third. Meantime, Jan Elias is charging fast in fourth, closing down Ryu at speed. While Ryu sounded a little bit grumpy this morning when called, Elias was full of the joys, going fast and adding to the beliefs that rival Ryu has foil damage. At 10 days in, this is already the longest period of racing that most have endured this year. Fatigue can lead to mistakes, problems cause even more tiredness, and it becomes a downward spiral. Speaking in my, in my wet salad, uh, on a wet bean bag down below, and uh, running up on the road for the deck every 10 minutes to grab the helm, before the boat goes into a huge approach. And, uh, and that can be really, really strenuous. Actually, I haven't, I haven't slept a lot over the last couple of days, for sure. But at last it feels like sailors in all six divisions are making good progress towards Guadeloupe and a well-deserved run punch, the traditional reward for all the finishers into Pointe-a-Pitre. <laughs>